Have you ever wondered where lightning comes from? No, that's boring! Well, today we're going to find out in... You're dead right there, Geeky. I mean, who amongst us hasn't rubbed a balloon on someone's hair and then stuck it on a wall? That's down to static electricity. Just look at the joy it gives. Now, surely you've experienced static when you drag your feet along the floor and then touch something metal and get a shock. And what about all you ladies or long-haired gentlemen? Ever had a bad hair day where you just can't get your hair to stay down? Well, that's down to static electricity too. And you must have touched an old TV screen and had that kind of tingly sensation in your fingers. Yep, you guessed it. Static electricity. I know what you're all thinking. What is static electricity and where does it come from? That's boring! Oh my god! Oh my god! Static electricity is caused by friction and is generated when two different insulators are rubbed together. Once a material acquires a static charge, other neutral materials can be attracted towards it. Some materials get a negative charge when they're rubbed like this polythene rod, whilst others gain a positive charge like this acetate rod. When charges are brought together, opposite charges attract. <laughs> Two charges are the same on their brought together, they repel. Why do things become charged when we rub them? Well that's because everything's made of atoms. Atoms have positive charge in the centre in the nucleus because of the protons. Orbiting the nucleus are the electrons. They have a negative charge. Atoms are neutral because the positives and negatives balance. <laughs> To keep things simple, we can imagine that our acetate rod is made up of equal numbers of positive and negative charges. The rod has a neutral charge and so does the piece of paper that we're going to rub it with. Now let's apply a little bit of friction and see what happens. Wow, look! All the rod's negative charges have moved over onto the paper. That means that the paper now has a negative charge. The rod's left with lots of positives, so it has a positive charge. Remember, only the negative charges can move. Bearing that in mind, can you now explain why a polythene rod becomes negatively charged? Meet my friend, the Van de Graaff generator. The Van de Graaff generator can be used to generate huge amounts of static electricity. Hey, Geeky! Geeky, come here, boy! Touch that, Geeky! Uh, can I have hours of fun with the Van de Graaff generator? Ah! Two, three. Ah! But we're not here to have fun. How can the Van de Graaff generator help us to explain how lightning occurs? Lightning is caused by the build-up of static electricity in storm clouds. Here we are on a nice stormy day. Hmm, there's a nasty looking cloud. Let's have a look at what's going on inside it. In a thundercloud, lots of small bits of ice and moisture bump into each other as they move around. These collisions generate an electric field. The top of the cloud becomes positive, and the bottom of the cloud becomes negative. The electric field in the cloud becomes so strong that it causes objects on the Earth's surface to gain a positive charge. The air becomes ionized, its resistance breaks down, the charge can flow, and lightning strikes. The 
Candograph generator can be used as a model to show how lightning occurs. Here's a Fandograph generating some sparks. Remind you of anything? Let's turn the picture on its side. Does this help? Imagine the large metal sphere is the cloud and that the small metal sphere is the ground. The big metal sphere generates the charge just like the cloud and then eventually the charge gets so big that the air's resistance breaks down, the charge can flow through the air and into the little sphere which represents the ground. In other words, the sparks produced by a Van de Graaff are just like lightning, only smaller. <laughs> Lots of people get struck down by lightning every year and killed. In fact, in the last year, how many people have died? 238. 238. Yeah! 239. So, what is the best way of avoiding being hit by lightning? Is it start playing golf? Crouching down in the middle of the field and hoping for the best. Walking along with an umbrella. Standing in the rain. Hiding under a tree. Or sitting in a car. So, which one do you think it is? Make your decision now. Let's find out! Take it away! That was quick. Let's take a look at that again. First up, Golf Geek. The lightning's come up straight from the metal golf club. Dead. Next up, Crouching Geek. Still alive. Survivor. Umbrella Geek. Metal Umbrella. Not so lucky. Dead. Geek hiding under a tree. Shocking idea. Very dead. And finally, Car Geek. All safe and sound in the car, nice and dry, is the rubber tyres you see. Their good insulators prevent the charge from going into the ground. This stops are being electrocuted. So, in summary. Final summary. Friction causes different materials to gain a positive or a negative charge when they rub together. Opposite charges attract, light charges repel. Materials become charged because they lose or gain negatively charged electrons. Remember, only negative charges can move, the positive ones can't. Lightning is caused by storm clouds building up huge static charges and then discharging that charge into the ground. The surface place in a lightning storm is in a car. Don't hide under the trees. <laughs> so, there you have it. Another mystery solved by... Yeah. 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 Yeah.